Hey folks, Dave uh, here with Silver Diamond Homestead. Today we're going to talk about uh, biochar. Should you use biochar in your worm bins? Uh, should you use biochar in your composting bins? The answer is absolutely. It's a very good, porous, a lot of places for uh, bacteria to get in there and hide and, and live and survive. And remember, that's the great benefit with worm castings or even compost. It's not so much that the the, new, uh, the fertilizer aspect of it, which it does have a little bit. We're more after the uh, microbial growth and the, all that stuff that's going on down there with the synergistic effects of the bacteria eating the minerals, which is allowing them to be absorbed faster by the roots. and. You get all into that. It, it's pretty boring stuff, but uh, it's really not. But to most people, it is. So anyway, on the silver diamond this year, one of our big things we started making um, lump charcoal, and uh, we did this to to save a lot of money because we go through you know a lot of charcoal here cooking out and and what have you. But after you get down to the uh, the big nice lumps. You know, you'll get some nice, which is great for your uh, for your lump charcoal. Well, you'll get down to these pieces like this. You know, they're they're kind of this is bark and some of the little ones, but this uh, actually it it breaks up so easily. You can just crush it with your hands. And if you can't, you know, it's, it's, use it in your, uh, cooking. Now, the, the reason I'm doing this is because, is biochar the same thing as charcoal? I, I did a lot of, uh, researching and a lot of uh, Googling, and biochar and lump charcoal, the, one of the Google differences gave me, is charcoal is meant for a fuel biochar is meant for a soil amendment so if you're using it for a soil amendment or your worm castings this is biochar or if you're using it to fire up your grill it's charcoal but no no difference uh, some of them talked about one of them was heated at a different temperature and uh, it, it I don't, I'm sorry, I'm I'm just not buying into it. I think it's uh, exactly the same thing. And each each one of these charcoals has so many pores. And if you imagine uh, one uh, YouTube channel guy, he was comparing it to the coral reef in the ocean. But I'll compare it to like a honeycomb. There's just so many hiding spots, so many places that, that these bacteria can go and breed and multiply. And that's exactly what you want for your... Um, uh, compost or your so, uh, worm castings. Now, I did a, I did a video about making the lump charcoal. You can you can check it out if you want to. But basically, you get a. It's a real simple, real cheap uh, setup. You get a drum about this size, that'll fit down in a 55 gallon drum. Drill a few holes in it, and literally, I there's I drilled four holes in it. And you can see how that bottom, I mean, there's a lot of pressure. That thing sounded like a jet engine just trying to take off. It was so so much force coming out. So uh, drill more than four holes just to be safe. It was it was coming out the top too, even though. Um, but how much biochar do you use? I'm going to put about a half a pound in each one of my bins and just see how that uh, that works out but just remember one man's trash is another man's treasure so if you're uh, looking for biochar and you're making your own lump charcoal this fine stuff and you can break it down and smash it up with a hammer or whatever but most of it you can just squeeze and it 
and then it becomes a valuable uh, useful thing for the soil full of carbon and it just everything I've read is has been super uh, positive about using biochar in your worm bins or in your castings uh, castings or even in your compost piles so if um, you're not using it if you're leery of it just give it a try with a little bit but this is exactly what the bacteria and those microorganisms need to uh, to thrive lump charcoal even if you go buy it most of your cheaper uh, brands of the lump charcoal are filled with kind of junk pieces like this anyway so just a quick video on the biochar and if you're uh, not using it give it a try and if you are using it uh, give me some feedback because i'm about ready to go dump a bunch in my worm bins so thanks a lot guys and have a great day